cancer cluster in Manatee County. Now dozens believe that Bayshore High School could be to blame here. As ABC Action News reporter Jake Peterson shows us, county commissioners are now taking a closer look at hundreds of claims involving three decades worth of alumni. It was really funny, really down to earth. That was until Mallory Mannon's dad, Lawrence, got sick and passed away from cancer in 2012. His life was cut short and he didn't really get to enjoy any of the things he worked really hard for. Lawrence's three sisters also got cancer. They all graduated from Bayshore. Mannon says cancer doesn't run in the family. He had a test done to see if his cancer was hereditary or environmental and it came back environmental. Men and join this Facebook group formed by other Bayshore grads. We're just a group group of people who care um, coming together and we've already gathered this much, this many numbers and this much information. Group members claim 170 former Bayshore students are living with cancer, while 92 others died. They all attended the school between 1970 and the late 90s when the building was torn down. Some alumni blame two diesel tanks that were buried on this property, but school officials say this ground has been tested several times and those tests show no contamination. The testing that was done was basically done on topsoil. So I think um, it definitely the right testing needs to be done. The group is working with a geologist to get more information. Manon says the number of former students dying is too much to ignore. At this point, I don't think it's coincidental at all. Tuesday afternoon, the Manatee County Commission will listen to past and present research and hear stories from those who lost loved ones. After all this time of the blame game and doors being closed in our face, that it's so amazing that they're even addressing the issue. Reporting in Bradenton, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News.